Hi, I'm Todd, and I hope you're having a great week. Today, I'm going to take a look at two free add-ons for your DAW from Waves. They're part of the Studioverse family, and they let you do a lot of things creatively and efficiently. So let's check them out. So first, we'll take a look at Studioverse Instruments. And what this is, is a rack that allows you to add a variety of instruments and effects that all have their own GUI. And you can add them all up into essentially one space or one slot that you can save. Now, when you first open this up, you're going to see a whole lot of them listed here. You can search through different genres. These are all from the Studioverse collection of pre, uh, essentially pre-configured instruments. But you can also create your own, which is a great feature with this. Now, it allows you to, of course, change your key, change what major scale, minor scale. You can go to chromatic if you like. But one of the big things that I really enjoy here is that if I'm going to have so much depth, so I'm going to use so many different plugins to create the sound, I don't want to always have to open up each individual interface to get to what I need. The great part here is that you can individually assign these controls within the Studioverse Instruments rack to control any one of the parameters from all of the different combination of plugins essentially you have in here. So it just makes this really efficient. And of course, you can do a lot of things with what comes with it. Again, if you're part of Studioverse, if you have that subscription, you're going to get a lot of different instrument combinations here. But the nice thing is it'll automatically look at what you have and it'll only present what you have. And if you want to use, again, third-party VSTs, you can do that too. So really good to see there. So, you know, just a quick demonstration here. You know, you get a combination of everything from individual instruments to various sequences. So if I load up one of these sequences they have here that's on a synth-based sound, uh, it'll give you an idea of just a creative idea to get started. You see, in this case, we have a lot of pre-sequenced information going on. There's a lot of depth here. All of these GUIs would need to be looked at individually to make changes. And again, if you want to just pick a few that you use all the time, you can preset and plug them in up here. So I've gone ahead and recorded a little section of that in. Say you also want to go ahead and reinforce that sound. So, you know, there was an existing bass, of course, what we had. But if I want to emphasize that with this 808 sub 4040, Just to give it some more punch in some areas, I've done that. And, and really, it's endless here. You can choose a lot of different sounds. You have individual kind of instruments here. Don't all have to be sequences for sure. Give you an idea. So again, a lot of creative ideas here. So I made a quick recording of four just from the presets included here. Done nothing other than use three chords. And here's what I got. Now the reinforced bass will come in. And so really just by picking four presets from the Studioverse library, I was able to just create a quick little background sequence here. Really took no time at all to put this together. And of course you could adjust anything here to be what you want and you can totally start from scratch. So that's what I really like about Studioverse instruments again. Now looking at the second free tool, it's going to be the Studioverse audio effects. When I bring it up here, what you have is a rack again where you can insert VST plugins. Now you can use all the Waves plugins you have, but also any VST3 compatible plugins that work with your DAW or your system, of course. And so you'll see I have a lot of different manufacturers here. I can pull up just about anything that I want and add it to the chain. So whether you want to create a vocal chain or a mix bus processing, you can have those all in here and you can save them as presets. Now, of course, you also see Waves is providing many, many combinations here um, of things that have been pre-done by some of their artists that are related to them. You can experiment with those. Certainly, uh, uh, you know, the more the merrier, if you will. But it's only going to present what's available to you. So I really like that. But of course, you know, you can also take some of the simpler ones too. One I found here, for example, is this FX menu. It just gives you some basic controls here as well as uh, a parallel split option. So, you know, again, it's the sky is the limit here. What you want to do with this, you might want to choose a mix bus that someone else has created. And again, that's all fine or you create your own. But just like instruments, the big thing here is that you get these individual controls. So you don't have to go into each GUI individually to get to what you need. Now, you may want to, you may find that's comfortable. But if, for example, there's something that you, you leave a lot of things set the way they are, like you may be comfortable with having, 
you know, attack and release set where they are on this compressor, for example, but the threshold is something you want to adjust. Well, you could go ahead and assign that threshold to one of the other buttons. So it's just a matter of clicking on it and you can go ahead and choose what you want here. So you can choose the ones that are on there or you can go to the comp here in this case, and I'm just gonna select threshold. And so now when I move this threshold control here, you'll see on the, on the GUI, it's moving at the same time. So again, that's similar in both the audio effects rack we have here and in instruments. So for me, that's one of the really big upgrades that's been provided here. I did a video on this when it was back in its studio rack form for OBS, where you could use VST3 plugins in OBS Studio. And I thought that was a great feature to have. Well, now that they've updated it with these individualized controls, so I don't have to go into each GUI at the same, you know, all at the same time, that's a big improvement. Now that we've had a look at these two plugins, I'll give you my final thoughts. And first of all, I've always had a plus and minus relationship with rack style plugins. In one hand, they let you put everything all together, save presets. It makes it really efficient to recall chains you use all the time. But on the other side, if you just look at all the plugins listed individually on your DAW screen, it makes it easier sometimes to find exactly where you have everything. Now, again, this is a matter of workflow, so whatever works best for you. But one of the things I really like about these two new versions of Studioverse is the individual controls that allow you to pre-assign them to the various plugins in the chain. So if you have five or six plugins or maybe 10 or 20, you're not gonna have to go through each one to find one control you wanna make a small adjustment with. And in terms of the instruments, same thing. If I'm gonna use a whole mashup of different MIDI instruments and effects, arpeggiators, etc., to create a sound, this way I can control the parameters I want without having to switch between each interface. So I kind of really like that about this, about this option. And of course being free and allowing it to work with all VST3 plugins that are supported by your OS and your DAW, this really kind of makes a lot of sense to me. So I would recommend going ahead and checking them out. They may help your workflow and they certainly are an efficient option for a lot of the things that I do. And finally, I really do appreciate you joining me today. I hope you found this video interesting or helpful in some way. Take care and I'll see you next time.